good morning everybody you're welcome to um monday's weekly outlook yes as you guys can see on my chat this is the dxy monthly chat this is what it looks like we have a w and a breakout right normal normal basic stuff we have like that the break of resistance as you guys can see we had one resistance in this area from 2017 i'm correct 2016 rejected 2017 and came back there again 2020 that's three years four years time and then came back again after how many years two years and then it broke it gave us some kind of institutional smart money cube and then we had the breakout so normal retail stuff right when a resistance has been broken it automatically turns towards support you guys get a vibe right <laughs> Exactly. Can't see your screen. Wow. Please let me know if it's everybody or it's only um, Tulu. Guys, can you see my screen? Is it just him? Okay, okay. It says it's just you, Tolu. So maybe what you do is um, um, leave the call. Just try and leave. Okay, you can see it now. Oh, okay. Go, go. So any of you that can't see the screen, just leave the call and then join back again. Okay, that should that should do it. So it should be maybe your network. That's why. Okay. So like I was saying, I'm coming, guys. Sorry. Yeah, so we have this, you know, resistance, resistance, and then we had this breakout, and then price is most likely coming to retest it. Now it's going to take a lot of, you know, days or weeks for this to happen because one candle represents, you know, thirty, you know, days, right? And then we have about four weeks, about twenty trading days in a month. Right, so this before this is going to get here might take a while, right? But then the idea is the bigger time frame, you know, what we're seeing is that we have this break, you know, we had this resistance. So this level has been holding price for quite a while now. This uh, level had, you know, 101,782 and then 103,210, um, uh, 212, right? So this two areas has been holding price right we had price rejected from that area and then price the dollar came back there again rejected and as we can see came here also so this level wanted to hold but then gave us this monthly so this month was bearish you know imagine how many people would have sold this now thinking you know um you know this resistance this resistance so it's, it might hold right because you know major, majority of what we do is we try to look at the past and then try to predict what's going to happen in the future with you know past occurrences right this rejected this rejected so maybe this uh might reject also right uh but then gave us a rejection just one month and then the next uh couple of candles were you know very very big bullish candle so in, if we are going to be trading this now using you know the smart money concept even without the retail concept now we know we should be looking for you know, maybe possible buy opportunities in this area, right? Because this is an institutional cube and we use that as entries in, you know, the market as smart money traders. So coming from a smart money standpoint, we could be looking for buy opportunities here or what do you see below that area? I can see this imbalance here. Okay, can you guys see this? So it's possible, it's possible for price, you know, to come into this area even you know come down into the imbalance and then go back up and still expect this area okay it's very possible but from a smart money standpoint we can be anticipating rejection in this area or a little bit a little bit push down come into the imbalance and then go up now if we are to measure the entire range okay from this you know low all the way to this high up here what can you see 50 percent now if we're going to be buying we want to be buying 50% below, right? So it made, it's making sense now that this institutional candle is at the 50, you know, percent, and then the imbalance is below 50%, right? 
right? So I'm just like giving us a very, very large, like a very large view now of the dollar index because I actually saw this, you know, um, thing after uh, after I watched uh, Philip video, right? Philip uploaded the video to the library, the weekly outlook. So if you've not watched it, I want you to, you know, take out time to go and see, uh, to watch the video, sorry, because it is all this, all what I'm seeing now came from that video, right? The idea came from the video. Mm, yes. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, you can see my screen, right? So this is the monthly view. This is what I'm looking at. So like, see, we have resistance. And then now from a retail standpoint, from a retail standpoint now, we know that, you know, this is a resistance, this is resistance. So we want to see, that area where you know the resistance turns to support so something like this you know it's not going to bounce off here you know go up right this is just very basic retail stuff but then adding it with smart money is making sense now right you can see and then even this 100 100 which is a quarter point is somewhere around this imbalance area right so 100 is just you know uh like a major quarter point from zero to 100 100 to 200 so it's making sense that all of this are you know happening in you know this area now so this is the monthly view this is what i'm looking at okay just an addition to uh what philip already discussed is the same thing right because i actually got the idea from uh the video and now the weekly if we go to the weekly time frame okay yes um you can see we have this you know high this low and then we had this high, this low, this high, this low, and then this high, right? Well, we're going to be looking at it from, you know, um, a larger standpoint. We have this low, and then we have this high. You can see this low and this high. Okay. And now, just like Philip discussed, we have this word equal lows. Not really equal, but they are relatively equal. Can't see your screen. Uh, maybe you should leave, try try to like leave the call and then join back again. Okay, try to leave this, try to leave the call and join back again. All right, so we see this equal lows, relatively equal, but not like really equal. And then uh, we have this imbalance that price created. So I have the same bias, you understand? So this area, I feel DXY is, is like, it's going to be drawn to this area. Like this area is, it's acting like a magnet okay this is acting like a magnet that is going to be drawing you know the dollar to be coming down right and then we can see that this area where dollar rejected from we've been looking at this area for a very long time right if we zoom out go to the monthly time frame this area is actually from the three imbalances we have to the left remember there were three imbalances we're expecting to be filled the first one which is this one here dollars filled it went above it this is the second one and then this is the third one right so price has you know filled the second one and has given us you know good about how many rejection so we had this month that filled the imbalance the second month was bearish and then candle and then the third month now is a bearish month also so we have like a very nice rejection from this imbalance so is it going to come for this third imbalance or it's going to go down more from here. I don't know, right? But we can see from the start of the year, dollar has been really, really bullish, right? I don't think there's any month this year we've had two consecutive bullish, two consecutive bearish months, right? Aside from this is January, when it happened April and May, every other time, one super bullish, one super bullish, one, super bullish one super bullish so it is happening again in this area the first month and then the second month we have nine days left for this candle to close i'm sure it's going to close bearish right i'm sure already so that is it back to the weekly um time frame <clears throat> you can see so what am i anticipating it's just the same thing like philip has discussed right push up and then price should go down right so we're, this liquidity that is here Okay, this is internal liquidity, right? So we're still gonna see this uh, get captured, right? So we have this liquidity above. Okay, this internal liquidity. And as you can see, we have this small imbalance here. Okay, I remember this gray line is coming from what? The monthly demand supply zone. So 
We have an imbalance that is inside that area also. Anything below this down range, yeah, is the monthly imbalance that is there. So price might come for it and may not. Okay, it is not compulsory. But what are we anticipating now? All of this are still going to happen like later, later. So for now, what are we looking at for this week? A push up, which is already there. Price has already entered the imbalance already. Okay, price has entered the imbalance. So uh, we can't, it can either play, you know, the open of the imbalance, 50% or the fill of the imbalance. So how far imbalance is going to get filled? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, because this is it. Uh, we have this monthly, uh, weekly imbalance. You can see. So price can either choose to play the open 50% or the entire fill up the entire imbalance. And if they are going to fill up the entire imbalance, it can happen in one week, just like you see this big candle. If we have that kind of candle this week, it's going to fill it up completely. Uh, but then I don't know. Okay, this kind of candles are not, they don't happen often. You can see, look at this year, if I'm not mistaken, this year, this is the first dollar candle that is the biggest. Okay, yes, you guys can see, right? This is the biggest. I mean, this one was close, but this is bigger than this. So it has happened just once this year. So it's, re it's rare for it to happen. Okay, so if they're going to fill it up at the open and reject, then we might have a play soon. If they're going to fill it up 50%, then I think we would most likely be waiting to see what's going to happen. If they're going to fill it up completely, then, you know, multiple buy days for us. But then the idea is that you feel the imbalance and then reject. Long term, we still want to see this go down. Okay, so we are just anticipating for distribution inside this imbalance. It can happen at open 50 or entire field of the imbalance. Okay, when we go to lower time frame, we'll know what's up. All right, so this is the weekly um i can't see your screen i have done that two times okay uh, philip said you should update your zoom yes try updating your zoom like i do mine almost every time i open up the zoom like there is always an update with zoom every time i don't know if you guys notice it click update zoom you will surely see one update <laughs> all right so this is the weekly um the weekly view so this is the down range here yeah? i mean flip has discussed all of this already okay just watch the video you see it i've got to teach my kids now i wish no problem fam the course recorded we'll, we'll drop it in, in the library so you can uh watch it okay i know it's monday now a lot of people are going to be busy with other stuff so it's fine i right, said so this is the monthly uh the weekly view okay it's working now uh aha -huh, good Yes. So if we go to the daily now, no, let's go back to the weekly. Okay. So the weekly, if this is going to be the down range, now if we draw the fee from here all the way to this eye, can you see? So even if we're going to get like a 50% push up, and it's lining up with uh this uh this imbalance area here. So just maybe another confluence. And if we go to the daily time frame, you can see the daily has been giving us, you know, a uh, bearish structure. Right? So I highlighted this as the a Sunday opening price, that was when price opened. So the opening price for this week, like how I do it is, you know, 10669, okay? And then we have, you know, the daily has been giving us what? Lower lows, lower high, lower low, lower high. And then price has given us, you know, a very long push to the downside all right so in terms of the daily range we have this institutional cube here and then we have an imbalance here we have an imbalance here okay but i think the imbalance that i would prefer to see price reject from will be this one because this one now is somehow lining up with the 50 percent of the weekly uh imbalance okay because if we do the weekly imbalance and we choose the middle boom can you see it is the weekly the middle uh, feel of the imbalance on the weekly is lining up with it is inside, you know, the daily imbalance also. So, you know, maybe a push up into this area and then we might uh, now see some rejection, right? So on the weekly, we have a very big imbalance. So we're just trying to reduce, you know, 
the um, area of focus now. Okay, so when we come to the daily, we have this one here also. Okay, can you see this one here? Aha, which price is already there now. Okay, you can monitor price action to see if price is going to reject from there. I mean, if you get the break of structure, everything is looking clean, the liquidity sweep break of structure to the downside. Is there any way you are going to know if that break of structure is going to hold? No. Okay. These are, these are some trades I take. And if you hit stop loss, I'm fine. Because by the way, there's no way, there's no way I would have known. There's no way I would have known that this, they were going to go for the second imbalance above. So if I get some kind of distribution in this area, I'm going to take it. And then if you hit stop loss, okay, fine. We're not ready to go. But then what if this was the play to go down? And then the setup, everything aligns and you do not take it because you are scared or you feel, you know, the hopper one is going to get played. Yeah, the hopper one might get played. But then what if they decide that this is what they want to go for? So remember, I, saw, I think I saw, um, I saw a, a write-up somewhere. Like if you see the same setup, your setup appear, take the trade as long as you see it appears, okay? Because there is no way, I'm saying it again, we are 100% sure that this is going to be the move to go down. It could be this, it could be this, and it could be this. Besides, it may be none. <laughs> it may even be none of them. So all we do is we keep trying, but now we're not just gambling or you know, entering any kind of breaker structure. We are very precise as to the areas we want to see these things happen. Number one, year, two, year, or year, or even at this institutional cube. Okay, that's what makes us different from somebody that is just gambling at any point. Once the break of structure, I'm going to enter. We are very precise as to how we want to go in on a trade. And then even with the super you know, precision, it could still hit what stop loss. So everybody knows that. <laughs> everybody knows that. All right. So uh, this area and then this area. Now let's go to the lower time frame and see four hours. What do we have? <laughs> so on the four hour, we had the break of structure already. This happened last week. Okay. On four hour break, you can see lower low, lower high, lower low, yeah, lower high lower low and then we had a break of structure in this area or you could look at this one anyone we had a break of structure price came back down came into this cube i mean how i missed this i don't even know no i think i caught it yes i remember but i think i closed that trade i shared with you guys that I had the limit on i forgot to delete it actually played out and then hit one to three yeah so something like you can see so we have higher high higher low and then it's been you know giving us strong bullishness, okay? So the first move happened. Now imagine you were thinking that, okay, this break of structure is not going to hold, right? Because of the liquidity down. I'm not going to take this trade. I mean, we missed out on all of this push to the upside. For EU, that was pushed to the downside. Again, there is no way you are going to know if your trade is going to play out. It is until it has happened, then you'll be like, oh, okay, this, this held. Uh, okay, this did not hold. But before it plays out, there's no way you can know, unless you know smart money, you know. <laughs> and then they tell you, all right, this is it. This is what we're going to do. But then there's no way you can know. Okay, this played out well. You can see the break of structure, low, high, low, break. And our price is pushing up. All right, so what do we have now in the four hours? This is the opening price for this week. All right, we had a push down. Okay, and our price is going up. All right, so remember there are two imbalances quickly. Uh, let me let me draw the imbalance on the daily. So from here, okay. So, and then we have all the way to this area here. I said, if we go back to the four hours now, okay, we can be anticipating some kind of rejection in this area, or if that doesn't hold, then it's gonna be in this area up here. Okay, now, can you see even the four hour imbalance is so big? All right, it's very, very big. Okay, so let's just keep an eye. So maybe um, um, since we have this, you know, 
high, there's higher low, there's higher high. In terms of the four hour range now, we have this as the down range on the four hours. Okay, and so I don't know, the, the top range has not been set yet. Inside that daily imbalance, we also had a four hour imbalance again, right? So there's imbalance inside, imbalance inside, imbalance. Right, so we have this on the four hours. On the one hour, let's see what, what do we have on the one hour. Okay, this is what we have on the one hour. You can see price came into this imbalance. Okay, gave us a very nice play to the upside. All right, was there a play? If we go to the 15 minutes, uh, this low, okay, low, high, low, high, break, retest, boom. This push down would have hit stop loss. And then, you know, gave us another entry at this imbalance here. And you see, and then that was a push up to the upside. Okay. But then on the one, this is the one hour time frame. What do we have? Uh, I see this as a down range. We have this. So this is the opening price. I actually thought maybe they were going to come down, you know, to this imbalance. But then that didn't happen. Okay. So price is just pushing up. Uh, let me see. This is the one hour. 30 minutes. What do we have on the 30 minutes? So on the 30 minutes, you know, we have this down range. Okay. And then we have this high this low this 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 now we have this imbalance here okay and then this let me see something uh i mean the, the week is just starting so there's going to be a lot of 30 minutes kind of so let's just see what's up all right okay okay uh from the low to the present high 50 percent is actually lining up exactly at the sunday opening price can you guys see this conference okay so i just i mean i would love this imbalance down here because this area is at you know discount so this area is very it's at discount this imbalance here yeah? and it's below the sunday opening price and so if we're going to be if this week is going to be bullish buying below the opening price on the weekly candle is going to be very good because if we catch an entry here yeah, maybe and then price close bullish. This is a weak entry for us, right? Because the body is going to start from here. So something like this. Yeah. On the 30 minutes, this is what I'm seeing. But then this way area is still like way, way, way down, down, down. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to pass it to Philip soon. So you can just let me know what you're seeing. All right. So this is the DXY. And then prices in this area is rejecting off the four hour imbalance. There's a four hour imbalance in this area that lines up with the first daily imbalance at the down uh, imbalance of the weekly candle. I hope I've not confused you there. <laughs> let me know if you're still following. Why do I feel like I'm... Let me know. Let me know if you're still following me. <laughs> All right. Just drop something to show you are still following me. Okay, nobody's typing. Wow. Following. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Okay, let's not get ourselves confused with because okay, I've mentioned imbalance like almost 50 times now. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of imbalance this week. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh let's go back to the one how I'm so 30 minutes so this imbalance is looking catchy we also have another one here uh yes all right let's see let's see let's, see. let's go to the 15 minutes what do we have 15 minutes what do we have? all right on 15 minutes you can see we have all of this price action here on 15 minutes high low high you know, seven o'clock, we had this push down and let's see, if, let's see, if, let me check five minutes. What do we have? So on the five minutes, we have this high, this low, this higher high, and then we do not have a new, and there's still a potential higher low, right? So if this breaks, uh, I don't know, maybe it's ready to go down, you know, because we have upside targets. We also have a downside target now. So <laughs> I 
But let's see, we have equal highs up here. So we have money in this area. Uh, all right, all right, all right. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave the, the entries to Philip. Let's see, maybe Philip has an entry for us this morning. So all I've discussed is just going to be the opposite for EU, okay? I don't want to start doing all the analysis again on EU. So you guys already know all what we just discussed now. Let's start from the monthly quickly. So on the monthly time frame, okay, I also have that. Um, I also have that here. All right. So we have this, you know, demand level that held on, on EU. We had this demand, 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 demand. Okay, that is support, 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 support. And then finally we had the break. And now, you know, uh, so this is more like breakout, retest, then drop, right? Retail perspective. Institutional standpoint, we have this institutional cube that we are expecting mitigation to happen from the drop. Like, EU is so close to it already. So it might still go up, just like how we are anticipating the DXY to go down more, right? Yes. So now weekly, <clears throat> on the weekly standpoint, we have weekly break of structure already. It broke the structure, broke the structure. So we can be anticipating some accumulation inside this place. Philip discussed this in the video also. Make sure you watch it, okay? This is the Sunday opening price. Uh, we are trading below that now. Okay, so we have this big imbalance on the weekly. If we go to the daily, we can see it's very, very small uh, in this area. So something like this, and then we'll bring this here. Okay, so we've been able to now increase the focus point. Okay, so maybe somewhere in this area to go up. Do we have liquidity? Yes, I, you know, see this, you know, let's just put it from here all the way to this area. We have this, you know, money resting up here. Okay, and remember, we can see we have this imbalance. We have this one, second one, and we have this third one, and then we have this cube. Price could reject from any of this area. Price is bullish already. You can see that on the weekly time frame. And four hours, what do we have? We have the breaker structure to the downside, right? This high, this low this higher high and then we had a break of structure i was able to i was able to catch a sell from here uh but then i just closed that one to three i didn't know it was going to go down this far so <laughs> yes all right uh so now this is where we are so this up here so let's now let me go back to the four quickly so we have this as the top range okay so we have this as the top range here and then we'll go back to the one hour. Uh, we have this. Okay, so price is just price is giving us this big push to the downside. I think it was only 30 minutes. That's where we have that imbalance again. So that imbalance I showed you on on um on DXY 30 minutes. This is it here also. Okay, and you can this is the last imbalance above this range, right? Every other area is balanced. So it could be like catchy for price, okay? So if we can catch a buy opportunity into this imbalance, that's a good week for us already, right? <laughs> okay. Um, 15 minutes, what do we have? We can see what is going on in this area. Low, high, low. Let's, let's, let's go down to five minutes. So we had this liquidity sweep. On the DXY, it was showing as equal lows, but yeah, we can see definitely we had all of this liquidity sweep by this push to the downside. Structure, we have low, we have high, we have low and low. We are still anticipating a break of structure, right? So it is not ready for a buy yet. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing uh, on um, the Euro USD. There's no entry immediately yet for me. All right, so I would pass the call to Philip now and then. Um, Okay, so Philip, you can um, sh let me uh, okay share screen. Okay, you have access. All right. All All right, right. Okay. All right good morning, guys. Coach, good morning. Morning, brother. All right. So since Coach has discussed the DXY, let me look at EU. So personally, for EU, of course, on the video, we are still looking at price coming into this potential area. Oh, fam, now I I, I, I can't see your screen, fam. Oh, you're not sharing yet. I am. Oh, wow. 
How come I can see it? Probably maybe because you are still sharing. Oh, so I should stop sharing? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't see that. Okay. All right. So I'm looking at all of this place, price coming into this place. Now, the fact that I placed these limits here does not mean I'm going to set a limit. This is a daily time frame. So we, of course, don't want to like take a trade like this. But I'm exactly. seeing something interesting. Think on EU. The only issue is I don't the trade is like in between. If you have to look at it, we swept this loose. So let's say uh swept this liquidity here now, right? Yes. And then if you have to look at it on the 30 minutes, after sweeping that liquidity, you can see after pulling out all of these lows here, we are getting some accumulation here. You have to look at it. We have some kind of break of structure here. Now, exactly. I'm not saying I'm going to take this trade, but if I can find an IPA, that's what I've been trying to look for. But now, the fact that there's no IPA in that area, okay now look at this so there was this ipa we had this break here this ipa price came into this ipa and then rejected up but now the volatility is really not enough so that suggests to me like we are still going down so personally i want us to take out this loop i want to see us take out this loop before i trust anything <laughs> so <laughs> this imbalance i don't trust it <laughs> I don't trust this imbalance at all. So, and today is Monday. So probably maybe today they might want to gather some volatility to push to the upside. Now, looking at that again, I'm expecting us to take out this low. So this candle is quite interesting as well. This very institutional candle, but I don't think I like it. What I like is looking at the way we did this year, we swept those loops. And then we had that last push down there. So I prefer this. I prefer this. So this. And if we were to look at the fee, yeah, of course, it's at a discounted point. The only issue now is what happens to all of these places. So this is where patience really comes to play, whereby you want to be very selective in your trade. Now, if we are waiting for these buys here now to push to the offside, that does not mean we cannot look for a sell. So the only thing that Sorry. catches my eyes is this last push-up. We have this last push-up. Inside of that last push up, we have this imbalance. So, if okay. at all I'm going to be selling today, I'm definitely going to be selling in this area. And that was the area coach is talking about where we have mm, this. Yes, sir. <laughs> I see it now. So, that, that's the only. And if you have to look at it, uh, I'm coming. Let me do this very well. If you have to look at it, if you have to look at the way they the, uh, how do I call it now? PA went in this place. We had this low, we had this high, we had this low, we had this high. It then went on to break structure, right? This all push up, price came into that area. So this was the last lower low we had. Mm, yes, and then this was the last lower high, right? Now this is not a lower low, right? Mm. It's not a lower low because yes, this is up close below. So we are still now, I'm trying to, to see, tell you the reason why I want this IPA. If you have to look at this last push up, this, because this is the institutional candle here, this consecutive candle mm -hmm. is actually at a 50% of all of that. Mm -hmm. So you can see the reason why this is the only place my eyes actually goes to, to say I want to take a sale. So, so I'm not going to be taking this, of course, Trust me, this is just going to continue going up. So let's just pray. <laughs> <laughs> the prayer now, the prayer now is smart money should come back into this 
uh, IPA to reject. So if at all I'm going to be taking any trade today, if at all I'm going to be selling, then this is where I want to be selling from. I want to be selling at this place. And I like the fact that it is at this O level. Let me see. 60. Uh, so stops my years there will be this high. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. At a 40 level. 40. That's good. 40, 40. So that's like 20 stop. stop. Yeah. Target the lows. At least I'm pretty sure, even if, if at all is going to reverse, it, it should still deliver a one to three. Yes, sir. It should still deliver a one to three. Uh, looking at this, we have to look at the weekly time frame and the one hour, one hour price came into that place. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. I think I wanted to say something about the one hour. So we have to look at it like this. Let's say low, high, low, high break of structure came back did that sell stops uh, buy stops and then dropped we have this low we have this mm -hmm. high we then have this low we then have this high that then pushes to the downside so this really is the last place so this is an institutional candle to me or maybe so, it's your candy one of the two mm -hmm. so this, this is the only candy that catches my eyes this morning in an EU. And then the 30 uh, minutes imbalance is lining yeah. up with that area also. Exactly, so. exactly. So the, the only thing we are just waiting for is price reversing into that area. Of course, you might not get it today. You can see all of these signs of weakness that is really just pushing all the way down here. So even if this guy is going to stop to reverse, at least you should get into, let's say, this IPA. This IPA, yeah. Oh. So probably push down, come up, and do all of that. But yeah, that's the only thing we are looking at this morning. Let me see. Uh, okay, no. Never mind. <laughs> so that's the only thing. Now, you guys get that. Now, this is what I look for. Sorry, hold on, guys. Give me one minute. Hey, sir. Uh, guys, he also discussed uh, some other some other trade ideas in the in the video he sent out yesterday. So just uh, try and watch it. Okay, you know, I let me I trade EU majorly, so just like to look at EU and know what's up with it. See if we can catch a good trade this week. All right, yeah. So now the reason why I said I was not going to trust this break of structure is there are certain things I look for when we have let's say internal break of structure. I want to see them offer liquidity, like take liquidity to the to the both sides. I think I was trying to share with somebody yesterday, uh, sorry. I was using NASDAQ as an example. So we, of course, the normal thing we trade, the normal thing we trade. So we have these sell stops here, we have these buy stops here. So I want to see them take liquidity to the downside and then take liquidity to the upside. And then on a lower time frame, you get they should give you that break of structure. Now that break of structure must offer some imbalance. Now I'll show you what I mean. Because of course, you have to have examples. We have to look at it last week. Yes. Now this is just last week. So last week we had this loose. You can see how they took this loose. Yeah. And then they came into, let's say, some kind of imbalance here. After taking all of these loose, we have to look at it on the three minutes. I hope it's going to show. If you have to look at it on the three minutes. Man, this is, this is legit. <laughs> so you see how we had this break here. Okay, I think it was even on the five minute that the IPA was on. So it makes sense. So people that really don't know how to do one minute, five, three minutes. You can see. So this was on the five minutes. Get we had that break of structure on the five minutes. So you see how they left that IPA there after taking all of those liquidity. Stop. And of course, don't forget it is at a price. It is at a particular time. Hmm. So you are adding all of the confluence. If you have to look at the entry, you can see it is at one one five eight twenty. You get twenty eleven. 
exactly so you are you are looking at all of this and then the next day the same thing happened again again you can see how i think this was even only three minutes one minute there was that ipa and then mm -hmm. so you, you just don't want to take every break of structure you get in fact today i wanted to do something on instagram liquidity of structure other block or ipa which one do you go <laughs> more <laughs> which one will you trust the more probably maybe i'll do it when i'm done which one do you trust the more so you you get the idea probably maybe i'll forward these examples to the group now yes I'm so you get so you you are very careful like the reason i'm not i'm trying to explain the reason why i do not trust this break of structure that up in this place of course it is a break of structure of course you can capitalize on it but does it what's going on okay does it fulfill or does, does it give you all of the components you are looking for yes there was an ipa on the three minutes but it wasn't really interesting to me you can see we had this break and if you have to look at this i don't even think this is a break of structure yeah it's not ready of course uh -huh. so it's not ready so you are very selective in the kinds of trade you are taking you are looking at certain components to determine certain outcomes you understand so i'll rather just wait for price to come into this place and when price comes into this place right i'll be waiting for that break of structure that uh, uh ipa the lead yeah. there and all of those evidence things. remember 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 that the best smart money place to the best place for you to take your trade is that other block that actually has an imbalance mm, somewhere. Sure. So you must find it. If it is not on the one hour, it will be on the 15 minutes, it will be on the 30 minutes. It, the imbalance must be there. You get so that's what we are looking at today in the Nasdaq, of course, 230. I think it's 330 now. So that's where yeah, one hour say, ahead. Yeah. No, so that's what we are looking at today. I think that will be all from me. That will be all, all right. Me. So, guys, this is it. EU, uh, keep an eye. Those of you, I know majority, even not everybody trades EU. So, <laughs> we've given you guys, you know, one or two uh, things to look out for. And then for synthetic indices, most of the ideas I sent out, almost everything has already did their own thing. Some did how I wanted. Some said no. Let me get myself. So some no play out, but then you know <laughs> it's trading, right? Like the but big seventy five, just like we anticipated higher pricing, we had that around that six eighty two um K areas where we where we had those daily equal highs. Let me share my screen uh quickly so I can show you guys. Um all right, your screen share is loading. Wow, that's that's okay. Cool. You guys can see uh, my screen now, right? Yes. So for EU, it's not ready yet. We know where we are. I'm waiting for. Oh, quickly, uh, Bitcoin. Do I have anything for Bitcoin? Guys, yeah, just chilling around at 16, 17, 16, 17, just doing this thing there. <laughs> All right. So this is Bitcoin. So. I mean, it's just, you know, doing this stuff. Why did, okay, it has not gotten to 15K yet. I'm just saying, is he going to get there? Is he not going to get there? I'm looking at how they are creating this liquidity now. It's still going to drop. All right, this guy's not even ready to go up yet. Okay, it's not ready to go up. So we might see it at 15K again. Can you see all of this liquidity? They are building up again. Like, I mean, the main question everybody is saying is, asking is when is it going to start going up right because i'm tired of this drop like yeah when will you start going up right so we have another evidence that's going to go lower again from here <laughs> so just going to wait and see and so if that's going to be the case uh depending on how this depending on how this um daily candle close Okay, I can see we have all of this liquidity again. So I can just put this here. So we have this money in this area. So we have daily liquidity to the downside. Okay, and then we have this, look at the structure within the structure, just considering this little structure, low, lower, high, 
lower low. Depending on where it's going to close, we could be anticipating some rejection into this imbalance. Find that evidence, and then boom, you can shoot for uh, 15. Okay, shoot, shoot, just shoot for 15K. Okay, it might get there. Okay, it could. Can you see? It didn't reject at the open of the imbalance. It has got it to 50% also. So it might want to go for the entire uh, imbalance at 14K. I mean, this is one hell of a drop from 69. Wow. Who would have known this guy was going to go this down? And I mean, we caught it. Like, <laughs> what was very funny was there was a sell. The last, the last buy trade that tricked me was around this area, 69. Because if you watch the Bitcoin trade series, there was one buy opportunity that I wanted to take here. Boom. The way the thing hit stop loss was so massive. Like, guy, how dare you try to buy? <laughs> I mean, hit stop loss you hard. And then that was where the breaker structure started. And boom, I've been going down since then. I mean, he almost got to 70. Look at the last was at 69K on dot. That was where Bitcoin got to and then started dropping. So it was just about 1,000 point left to 70K. And I mean, even that, that period, we were all thinking it was going to get to 100K. But sheesh, I mean, small money can be really, really crazy. Look at, now we are at 16 <laughs> as well. So this is what I'm seeing on the daily. Okay, uh, we have this liquidity. So we have evidence is going to go lower. Okay, and the structure within the structure is bearish. We have this uh, imbalance here. So depending on when the, how this daily candle is going to close, I want it to close bearish. And then what I'm going to be ant anticipating is, you know, a push up into this imbalance. It shouldn't go above all this area, you know, just come into this imbalance distribution and then, you know, push to go lower and then you can shoot for uh, lower pricing, right? And then if this area doesn't expect, then most likely it's coming for this area. Yeah, just like what happened in this place, right? You see this, you see this, boom, 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 into this area, distribute to drop. So maybe something like this drop or this area drop. Yeah, that's that's for Bitcoin. So no need to go into lower time frame yet. It's not ready yet. I can see it already. It's not ready. So there's no need going towards the four hour saying or not until this daily candle has closed that we know what's up. Then for synthetic indices, quickly, let me load because you know we have some. Is Mr. AZ on the call. Okay, it's not on the call. <laughs> Easy likes. Okay, so synthetic indices, VIX 25. No, VIX, uh, no, 75. I think it was uh, 75. I mean, it was really, really bullish. Now it has dropped, right? So we are done with um, currency. Let me just need that so we can have. So for VIX 75, uh, we had this equal highs has been swept already. You can see this liquidity we had in this area. So spam money has taken out this liquidity. You can see they took it out and then they, what, we had distribution and then go down. So I think we might have a trade idea now from what I'm seeing on VIX 75. So after they took out the liquidity, they gave us distribution. So maybe there was a play on lower time frame. You know, you can check that out. Uh, but now, since we are closing below the structure, it seems this daily candle is going to close below the structure. All right, so now what can we be anticipating? Because in terms of the structure, we have this lower low, lower high. We had this low, high, low, high, low break. And then we had this higher high, higher low. And then this higher high, this higher low, this higher high, this higher low, and then this higher high. So we might be having a potential break of structure. If that's going to be the case, just like we have the liquidity to the upside that has been swept, we also have it here building up. You guys can see we have this liquidity building up here. We also have another one in this area, and then we have this imbalance to be filled. So once there's a break of structure, once this candle close below this, like once we have a confirmed close below this area down here, okay, uh, what can we be anticipating? You guys already see it already. So let me know if you know what the trade idea is going to be. Type it in the chat box. What can be the next play we should be looking out for? Say it, say it, say it, say it. What's going to be the next thing to do? All right. Let me hear it from you guys. 
drop it in the chat box. Sell, where? Where are we selling from? Give me a full sentence of what should happen next. I need a full sentence of what should happen next. Somebody help me with that. Sell at the high PA. Mm -hmm. Okay. Imbalance above 50%. Okay. What happens when a daily candle is close to liquidity? Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes. Stop into the IPA, break on lower time frame. Yes. Okay. You guys know this stuff. <laughs> okay. Selling at the high PA. Exactly. Sell from the fair value gap above. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. I mean, it's the same thing we do over and over again. So once this breaks, okay, we can be looking at for sale opportunity at this uh, area. Let's check if it lines up with, you know, 50%. So, uh, okay. So 50% now is still way above. Uh, so let's see. What if this daily candle kind of really comes down to this area here? Uh, then we might be having 50% in this area. Okay. So now let's wait and see how it closes. But then we have this liquidity forming already. Okay. And you can use the idea of what to anticipate when a daily candle is close to liquidity. Okay, so the next day you can expect a rally up and buy above the opening price to go down. Or you wait for price to get to this imbalance here and then you take the sell. So this trade is not ready yet. Please remind me later to check it. So we can see we have 15 hours left for this candle to close. So let's see how we close before we can now have like, you know, a conclusion on what to, uh, expect okay and if it's going to drop it might come for this uh ipa in this area so that's for vic 75 okay so let me take two more so which one you want me to look at on synthetic genesis two more quickly we also i think i also talked on vix 50 uh vix 50 right and then we just bought up I mean, that period when I did the analysis, all the pairs were close to liquidity already. Exactly. I think I discussed VIX 50, yeah. Uh, let me let me quickly go to... Yeah, okay. So Philip has sent the, um, the markups to the group. So thank you so much, fam. Yes. All right, so uh, the VIX 50, I'm coming. VIX 25, VIX 50 analysis. Oops, definitely, definitely what we expected. Okay, let me just pull it up quickly so you guys can see. This is VIX 50. All right, so you can see we had that liquidity. Uh, we had a liquidity, yeah. Okay, equal highs, and then I was anticipating some, you know, bullish price action to the upside, right? And that was what we had, you can see. Boom, price swept the liquidity and then we had this big drop. So now, is it gonna continue going up? I don't know. We do not have access to like a bigger time frame. Okay, came into that very small imbalance. There was an imbalance left. Okay, there was an imbalance left. Can you see this imbalance? I marked it out. Very small imbalance left from this area here. So price filled it and then we had a big rejection to the downside. So now, is it gonna go down or up? I don't know, unless I do a new analysis. All right, so I can see you guys have dropped. Uh, so I said the first two is what I'm going to look at. VIX 25. Okay, I've talked on 50 already. So 50 now, uh, I don't know what we're going to do next. You know, I was sure it was going to go up then. Uh, and then it was on this candle. So this candle was, if I'm correct, was with how many... We have one, two, three, four. I'm coming, guys. We have one, two, three, four, five. So it was the fifth candle, which was one, two, three, four. This one. So when we uh surprise so was bullish. So you could have used that idea of what to anticipate, you know, to have, you know, taking this trade. And then let me just check something quickly. And then we have another one in this area. And then we have that liquidity that was just. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let me go to like the one hour time frame and then see something. Quickly, I'm coming. That's what I don't like about this. Now, where are all the lines are doing now?
Uh, okay, okay. All right, let's go to the one. 30 minutes. Look at this one. Yeah, this high just came into the imbalance and rejected. <laughs> very, very fun. Did even get 50%? Let me see. And from here, we yeah, didn't even come close. And then we had this, all of this push up. All right. So this was where the daily candle opened. Remember? So if you were going to trade this day, looking at how we were close to the liquidity in the video on what to anticipate when a daily candle is close to liquidity. I remember I told you guys that once the daily candle opens, you and your anticipating bullishness, the best place to buy will be below the opening price, right? And then now, what are the things you want to look out for below the opening price, right? Is there an imbalance? Is there an institutional candle or a mitigation candle? So those are the areas of interest you want to be looking at to take your entry at that daily week. And we had one in this area uh, yeah. Right, so we had this imbalance here, yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah. Boom, that was a entry. If you were awake, because I'm sure this was like very early in the morning, because it happened very early, I'm sure. This was 2 a.m. in the morning. So, I mean, if you're going to be trading daily, uh, what to anticipate, you know, you need to be up late, because when the daily candle opens, you're looking for the push down so you can, you know, get in. And that was the entry you can see to go up. So we had a play to capture in the liquidity. Yes. Yeah. So on now on the daily time frame, what are we, what should happen next? Uh, I mean, I was sure of this, but now I don't know. I don't know if it's going to come lower or if it's going to go up. I'm not sure yet. Okay, but wait, let me, let me see something. Did we close above? Okay, we did close above. Uh, okay, okay. Since we closed above, just going by structure, okay, going by structure, uh, let's say, you know, anticipate some bullish rejection from this imbalance here. Okay, so let, let, let's do something like this. All right, so we have this as a range low, range high. Okay, we have... Now maybe we have some kind of harmonic pattern forming. So this, 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 in this area, anticipate some, you know, break of structure in this area, catch the retest and you know, try to shoot up. So for VIX 50, this is what I'm looking at in terms of the range, the down range, the top range. This is a discount level. So anticipate some kind of rejection in this area to go up. All right. So uh, this is what I'm looking at for VIX 50. Okay, just a rough sketch. <laughs> I'm going to like do it well and then send it out to you later. Okay, but for now, we can just have this, yeah. Okay, so quickly, the next one is um, VIX25. VIX25. And then what was the next one on the line? Um, 50, 25, 25, crash 1000. So crash 1000 will be next. So for VIX25, what am I saying? Okay, in terms of the daily range, in terms of the daily structure, we are bullish, right? You know. I've been looking at this area for a very long time, but it seems they don't want to come for it. Let's not rush them. Okay, let's go by structure. We had this high. Okay. Okay, we had this, we had this, we had this. Price came into this imbalance, rejected, gave us a new range. And then it is now inside this imbalance also. Ooh, perfect. So we might be looking for buy opportunities now. All right, let's go. So um, we have this imbalance from here to year to year. It has been filled by the candle before today, right? So the candle before today filled it. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> this liquidity, they don't want to come for it yet. So let's not force them. All right, so now let's go to lower time frame and see what's up. Price has already given us a very clean uh, premium uh, discount entry. You can see the internal liquidity that got swept in this area. Okay. All right, so let's go to the one hour quickly. Let me see what do we have on the one hour time frame. Okay, so on the one hour time frame, 
this is what we have on one at a time frame. All right, so we had this, you know, high. Oh, let me see, let me see the two hours quickly. Okay. Let me check the 30 minutes. All right, so 30 minutes, you can see we had the liquidity sweep. All of this happened at the high PA, okay? It's not showing anymore. I don't know why this is always, but there was, an, there was that imbalance here. Lower low, lower high, break high, imbalance, play, stop below this low. You should be in profit if you took it from there. Okay, but in terms of the present range we have now, a present range, uh, we have this, <clears throat> oh, sorry. Okay, so in terms of the present range, okay, this is the down range here. We have this has the down range in this area. Okay, I think we're late on this trade already because I didn't see it. Uh, I mean, but if you were trading this pair and this was your major pair, you had no reason to have missed this because it was the same signature setup. I caught it. That's very good. I like that. Congratulations. Okay, so this is our range. Okay, you could. I've played this imbalance here. Perfect. Okay, this was another entry. Okay, so uh, imbalance entry. Yeah, stop should be, if you are going to be trading the imbalance, maybe yeah, stop loss can just go this low. And then you know, I want to three yet, but you're in profit uh, yet. So now that has happened already. How can we join this now? How can we join this? All right, so this is still the range. Uh, so let me let me check something. All right, so now let me scale down to the 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, better still. I think I see it now. I see it now. Okay. <clears throat> yes, this is what I was I wanted to say. Okay. So now we had accumulation that happened in this area. Okay, we had another break of structure. Yeah. Okay, you can see in this area. This is the top range. This is the down range. So if we decide to play open of the candle, okay, uh, would the stop loss be too much? Okay, so maybe open of the candle is what we can be anticipating to play. All right, so maybe a push down. And then we have, you know, aside from the top range, I can also see what uh, this liquidity that is here also. So we have money just in this area that, um, but then I just, do um, this or maybe 50%. Should we play 50%? But price coming back into this imbalance again, I don't feel okay with it. Okay, so maybe the open. Open, yeah, open is better. If we're playing the open, but the stop loss is gonna be way big. Let's see if there is any imbalance, okay? That's how we try to reduce the stop loss now. Okay, let me now start scaling down. You know, it is at this point I like um lower like having a lot of lower um time frames. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. That's how I do it. But now we only have access to 10, and then the next one is five. Let's see. Is there anything on the five minutes? Uh nothing. All the imbalances has been filled. Everything has been filled. Three minutes. Oh, stop loss is three dollars. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. You see this? I see this on the three minutes. Okay, from here to this area here. So now that is where it is on the three minutes. So now if we go back to the 15 minutes, where is that lining up? Where is that lining up? Let's see. If it lines up with the 50%, we're going to take it. Okay, so now. I'm going to measure this from this area all the way to this high. Okay, if we want to take 50% of that candle, it's lining up just a little bit above the imbalance. So you know what? Let's let's go for 50%. Okay, let's go for 50% play. And let me do this, okay? I mean, you can trade the open so you can just be safe, okay? So you don't just miss out on this trade. But then you open... Uh, So we leave that 
um, and then stop loss can just be at this low here. There's no imbalances down here. So, I mean, if this trade, this trade should uh, be a good trade for us. Okay, so now entry would be at 130.20. What is uh, 131? So we can just put it at 130. If, I, if we play 130.0, where is that going to be? Oops, that's way down. No, 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 no. Let's go for 131. Okay. 131. Aha, yes. So stop loss. We can just make that uh, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so four, and then we aim for what? Uh, 12. Something like this. So one, two, three. Okay. And then let me start putting the annotations on the chat. We have this as the breaker structure. Yes. We have this as the top range. Now we have this as the down range here. Yeah. I mean, there's no way we can save this, so we have to do them manually every time. What else again? Top range, down range, and then we have to, um, um, I wanted writing something here. Um, mitigation candle, yes. All right, so mitigation can do. Yeah, so I'm going to send this out. All right, so this is it. Okay, um, we have it here. Oh, yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna look at the last one, which is Crash 1000. We've spent one hour, nine minutes already. Crash 1000, Crash 1000. It's been long, I opened this. But we have a Crash 1000. Daily time frame. but we have? Okay, so on the daily time frame, um, this is what we have. Okay, we have you no. Know, I can see the structure break. You guys can all see it, right? Yeah, this lower low, lower high. Okay, so we had this um, lower low, lower high, lower low break of structure, right? Going to measure the range this low to this high, okay? We are expecting some kind of accumulation below 50%. Uh, it doesn't have to happen every time. Yeah, price has rejected from this imbalance, came very close to 50% and then price is rejecting to the upside. Um, is there any imbalance? No, I can see this um, smart money cube below 50%. Who knows? Who knows? I might come back for it. So I just have it highlighted. Okay, and let's let me see. In terms of the range, I have this as the down range. Yeah, I'm coming. Let me put this magnet. Okay, so we have this as the down range okay and then we have this as the we have this as the top range okay and good so now let's scale down time frames to see what's up. Let's check the four hours quickly what we have. Okay. So on the four hours, this is what we have. Okay. 
Uh, we can see all of this liquidity here, this equal lose. So best bets, I think I see what's going on here. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. Uh, let me go back to the daily, okay. So the daily we have, you know, this top range, we have the down range, and we have this other block, right? In form of a small money institutional cube. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my NST cube uh, in this area. Okay, so now we'll go to the four hours. This is what we're seeing, yeah. I think this this guy is about to do what ZXY did to us. So we have this as the top range in this area. Okay, we have the institutional cube. Yeah. And then the down range just yeah. Uh, okay, so what I'm thinking is I see this relatively equal lose, yeah. Okay. All right, so I see this here. So there's money here. All right, and then there's money to the upside also. Okay, you guys can see we have money to the upside also, right? So I think they're gonna go for the money to the upside. And let me see, there should be one big imbalance waiting for us. I either had a one hour or so. There should be a big imbalance. Okay, I see it now. Let me check the one how I've step. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I think the play might be is okay. So this is this is my this is my thought process now. Um sweep of the liquidity into the high PEA and then drop. To capture the liquidity to the downside. That's what I'm looking at. So internal liquidity, yeah. And then few of the imbalance up here. So I'm anticipating some kind of rejection in this area. Yeah. But you understand now? So I push up, sweep the liquidity in this area when C price come to the downside. Something like this. Okay. Yes. So that is it from me. We've done uh, a lot of analysis already. So just keep an eye. Okay. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I've sent out the trade ideas. Uh, if, you, if you don't trade this, no, no need taking it. Okay. Just go to the peers you trade and do the analysis. It's the same thing. All right. So thank you so much. And I wish you a good trading week. Have a nice day, guys. Bye bye.